Cheyenne Charles and Joshua Yesse, who attended the barbecue on Danzig Street, and Dimitri Barnaby, another Scarborough murder victim, had one thing in common. Police say they were caught in the crossfire of the Galloway Boys gang, fighting to protect their turf, and in the case of Barnaby, the victim of mistaken identity. I don't think he expected to be shot. 24-year-old Barnaby was killed late last December in a parking lot behind this apartment. Investigators say the shooting was the result of a gang conflict between the Galloway boys and males associated to the Orton Park area. As they refer to it on the street as a beef between two groups that's, uh, that's caused all this uh, retaliation. Barnaby was not associated with a gang. Police say that beef resulted in at least six other shootings in the past year, including one last month at the Lawrence LRT station. The rival gang conflict further complicated by a struggle within the Galloway boys for leadership. The victim of the LRT shooting has been identified as an up-and-coming leader of the Galloway boys. I said to my son, so there's a community barbecue going on over on Danzig. And he goes, I'm not going over there. I said, well, why not? He says, Danzig and Galloway boys. The reign of terror continued in July with the mass shooting on Danzig. I got a few broadcasts on my Blackberry and a few Twitter updates saying that it was going to happen. Police say members of the Galloway boys use social media to spread the word about the barbecue. When they realized people from Malvern, a longtime rival gang, were in attendance, they asked them to leave, which they did. When the same group from Malvern returned, the shootout occurred. Police say five firearms and 25 shell casings were recovered from here on Danzig Street. For people who live in this community, these bullet holes are a constant reminder of that horrific night. Investigators say they are still trying to identify those responsible, believed to be both from Galloway and Malvern. These were a, a small group of young punks, approximately five to six people that were involved in the shooting. And we need people to stand up, testify against these people and that will result in a successful prosecution. Police were asked if members of the Galloway boys who have just been released from jail rounded up in a gang crackdown in 2004 could be involved. Investigators say they believe they are mentors to the five or six so-called young thugs, likely in their late teens, who are responsible for this violence that has terrorized the community.